I know that he befriended Muddy Waters and as a result of that wrote great music that is now in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. A couple minutes later, Richard Harding, who owned the club, gets on the PA and says, as I say in my book, with all the enthusiasm of a guy giving you your carburetor estimate, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, the Howlin' Wolf Band. John Lee Hooker, the young Coco Taylor, oh, really? Freddie King, oh man. Look at that young James Cotton. I call it a blues love fest. I start by taking everybody back to the music we all grew up listening to. Who is this? And then I take us way back to where it all began. And what we discovered was Jimi Hendrix did this song in like 66, 67. The Doors did Backdoor Man in like 65. Howlin' Wolf was singing these songs in the 50s. This is where it all comes from. And this is the night I met Muddy Waters and I had a camera with me. I just always have a camera. The men called me muddy, but the women called me election man. Hound Dog Taylor was the character. Hound Dog Taylor, it was him playing guitar, he had 11 fingers. He played the slide, the bottleneck on this finger. It's a different thing when you have uh, been hand in hand with these guys. Huh? When you sit down and Talk about Howlin' Wolf. Muddy Waters, Howlin' Wolf, Jimmy Reed back in the day, and you was there to listen to it. And you got a good feel of what their life was about, you know? So this means a lot. And, you know, everybody wants to hear the Rolling Stones stories. So already it's pretty dramatic. And then Muddy says to me, he says, Don't say nothing, boy, but the Stones are supposed to show up. It's 1978, and I'm taking all these pictures, and I'm looking at the Stones, and I'm thinking, Man, did these guys get old. And he drops to his knee, Keith Richard, at Muddy's feet, and he takes Muddy's hand off his knee, and he takes him in both of his hands, and he kisses the back of Muddy Waters' hand. <laughs> Muddy comes back up to the mic, says, Where are my friends? Mick, Charlie, Keith, Ronnie, the Rolling Stones. What would I like the main takeaway to be when people walk out of this? I guess that there's magic in the blues. I love these guys, and as I say in my book, we won't see their kind again, but we can dance in their big, big footsteps. A lot of people come back a second time, and they bring their kids as if to be able to show them, look at all this cool music I grew up with. Wait, I heard time, fella. We all hit something.